talking about these documents and how skeptics are always going to believe that it's not a legitimate document, that it doesn't have the provenance that it may actually yeah. have. Where do we find the burden of proof that will say no one can argue with this anymore? The documents that I'm talking about, the Canadian documents, are undisputed. They are from Canadian archives. The Canadians uh, do not deny the documents are legitimate. The only thing is that some of the documents come from Wilbur Smith's personal files, and those you're going to have the same question as to uh, whether they're, they're, they're at a university, they're donated by the Sun, uh, but people will say, well, those really don't have the same level of, of importance as the Canadian government document. But the, the top secret document that I'm referring to was a top secret Canadian document, was, was stayed classified for almost 30 years. That is not disputed by the Canadian government. They admit that doc document is legitimate. It says that flying saucers are real and that the Americans know about it. So what about, you know, the references to Americans or where they dispute that they took part in that correspondence? Well, it, it, the, the guy that we, we tracked down, the guy that gave the material, was, was interviewed in 1983, and he confirms, yes, I did do the interview, yes, the story's true, and he put it in writing. That's what I put into effort, evidence today, was that he confirmed the fact that, yes, the story that was told by Wilbur Smith in the top-secret document is the story that he told the Canadians.